Medical informatics is a science and engineering technology that used to help with the patient. We deal with the patient data. Even acquiring the patient data requires a lot of designing, thinking, and the technology behind that. Analyze them will help us to uh, know where and how we can start helping the patient. So all of this include like um, telemedicine, the intelligent hospital system, or even the very popular topic nowadays is to use AI to uh, do the uh, medical imaging. All those are part of the medical informatics. I think that medical informatics is necessary to doctors nowadays because the information we gather from patients is getting more and more. Doctors should know how to analyze all the information for example, arrhythmia is a very common disease, but most of the time arrhythmia attack intermittently. So the best way to detect is to let all the patients check their rhythm by themselves. And we come up with a good idea. Most of the people have a smartphone so that they can use the light source and put their finger on the camera to detect the light color change of the fingertip and then detect the regularity of their heartbeats. I think in smart medicine, uh, the role of technology is actually quite important. Actually a way to innovate the current medicine industry. For example, the electric health record. In this case, you can collect a huge amount of data. They are all already stored electronically. And that also paid the foundation for data analysis nowadays in smart medicine. So we need to work with doctors to see that for this particular disease, okay, for example, diabetes, for diabetes patients, what are the most important factors that can affect the outcome of diabetes patients? Those data normally come from many different databases within the hospital. You need the expert domain knowledge from collaborating party from the medical field to do the first you know, feature selection. And then we need to have the ECS background student to do the uh, data pre-processing, data exploration. Uh, for example, we have a tool called TISNI and that can do visualization for the data. And we can label them with different color and so that in the latent space, you can visualize how the two labels are distributed. You can have a good prediction on that. National Taiwan University is a very unique environment. We have the largest uh, medical center here on the island and uh, they are eager to use the new technology to help their patient. Engineering side, on the other hand, uh, Taiwan is famous for all the you know, electronics, chips, manufacturing, and who made them. That's the College of Engineering here. The cross-culture of the two things, two sides, are very natural here. So this is, I think this is a great place to uh, study the medical informatics. We have uh, many clinical doctors and clinical professors offering courses that is a kind of a simplified version uh, to help ECS students to understand the medicine field. And also for students coming from the medical background, we also have courses that's offering some Python and basic programming and also machine learning, uh, deep learning courses and they, that are a very good foundation builder for students coming from the medical field. For advanced course, we will invite the student to join the class lab as an observer especially for a student with IT background. I think this is very important so that they can know the doctors and the medical engineers how to diagnose and treat the patient in person. If you're in the field and then you're struggling with it, and I would like to congratulate you because the learning required is basically the nature of this field, how we really sequence the genome. How do we do genome editing? How do we design a protein that's never exists in the nature, but it will help us to do something? A lot of issue to be resolved, but that's the opportunity because new tools are invented every single day. This is the kind of your moment because you're getting into a new field that we don't have so many competitors at the moment, but you need to be able to step forward. Well, I always tell my students the best way to learn swimming is to dive in. Don't be afraid that you only know one part of the knowledge. Be courageous so that you will be the pioneer in this field. So we sincerely invite you to join the Smart MHI program to make our future better. Health is the most important for everyone's life. And the medical burden is heavier than ever. 
the world needs a more smart way to deal with all these medical problems. Live smart, learn the smart medicine. Welcome to our program.